guys and welcome to today's video. So today um, I'm officially two weeks post-op from my DNC, uh, from my third miscarriage. If you happen to miss my last video, I will link it in the description and in the cards. Uh, make sure you go watch that to get the full story um, if you aren't already caught up. But if you are, um, today's video I'm just going to take you along with me. Um, to my OBGYN to kind of talk about like how I'm healing from the DNC, um, talk about what happens at a post-op um, appointment. Uh, this is my second DNC, so I do kind of know what to expect, but it is, it's with a different OBGYN, so. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna take you guys along, and if you guys aren't familiar with my history, um, my last DNC caused some pretty bad um, Asherman's syndrome, which in a nutshell is a buildup of scar tissue in the uterus. Um, so of course you probably would assume I was pretty hesitant to do the DNC because of our history and all of the crap we had to go through to repair my uterus in the last one. Um, but I, I well, I, I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen. Um, sorry, my dog is down here. She is just like dying for attention. Mm, you're so sweet. Okay. So anyways, um, a few preventative measures my OB did. Um, obviously she told me she was gentle during the DNC, which is great. Um, I did full a full seven days of antibiotics twice a day after the DNC. Um, and then since we had been doing IVF, I was continuously wearing estrogen patches and she had me continue to wear those after the DNC um, to help fluff up my lining, her words, not mine. Um, so hopefully, hopefully that worked and we will be in a good spot if we decide to transfer Again, I will tell you now, if that's something that you're curious about, we have no intentions of doing another IVF transfer for a while. Um, so like 2019, like, no, it's not happening. We are, we're still really healing and grieving this loss. Um, it was very, it's been very hard on us. I've had a very hard time. I chopped all my hair off, don't know if you noticed. <laughs> Just going through the motions of the grieving process, you know. So, um, yeah. I don't know what's next for us. Um, I think I mentioned in the last video, like, I have ideas of what we may do. Um, and yeah, I'll leave it at that. Um, we'd appreciate if maybe you didn't give us suggestions because We've been going through infertility for four years and I promise you're not thinking anything that we're not already thinking. Just to be super blunt with you. So that's where we're at. I'm gonna go to this OB appointment, take you guys along and let you guys know kind of what she says. I probably obviously can't film in the room, um, but yeah, I will give you guys as much detail as I can, especially if you yourself um, just went through a DNC and you're kind of curious. Um, what comes up after at the post-op appointment. So yeah, let's just, uh, let's go to that. So yeah, see you in a second. Okay, I just pulled up to my doctor's office. Just like a little bit of a real moment. I have um, a lot of feelings being this in this parking lot. I was in it two weeks ago and pretty much almost in the exact same parking spot, not intentionally. And, um, I had to call my mom from, like, right here and, like, tell her what was happening. And I, <sighs> I don't want to go in. There's always, like, so many happy pregnant women in this freaking waiting room. I just hope they get me back in the room fast and we can just get this over with. Okay, I'm gonna go in. I said I have like a real moment with you guys because I know probably so many of you watching this know what it feels like to roll up to the parking lot of either like your fertility doctor or your OBGYN and you just feel so heavy and going in is hard. Alright. 
I'm gonna get this over with and I'll give you guys an update on like what we talk about and how it goes. to be on camera you're so cute all right so i'm home from my appointment it's raining outside i've got like the window open it's amazing it smells so good i love the smell of rain do you guys love the smell of rain i love it so um anyways i'm sitting on my bed with this one <laughs> okay so home from my appointment um went good went well Whatever is the most grammatically correct in that sentence. So many pregnant women in the waiting room. I swear they need a separate waiting room for like people that are struggling. Like one in four women have a miscarriage. There's a lot of patients that are coming in for like painful shit. <laughs> Anyways, I digress. They did not have the genetic results back yet, which I expected. Excuse you. Well, um, yeah, I didn't expect them to have them back yet, so that's all good. The, she said that they would give me a call when they're back. <laughs> yeah, she told me to take my estrogen patches off. Stop. And I can start resuming a normal life, as she put it, because she knows life doesn't feel normal for a long time. But, you know, all the restrictions, you know, after a surgical procedure in that area, are lifted and um, yeah so that's all good and then she kind of asked what I've been thinking of what I'm gonna do and I told her I have a consult with my reproductive endocrinologist in a couple weeks um, which I was like I didn't think I'd see him again for at least a few years so kind of sucks that we're already going back to see him but um, she feels good about us doing that and she doesn't want us to give up which I know people continuously say don't give up and I get that we're not giving up on building our family that's for sure that goes without saying um, but the timeline and the expense and just everything that goes along with that um, has to be taken in consideration uh, because having babies for us is very expensive yeah, other than that, the appointment was good. She just talked with me and made sure I was okay. And it was like, I'm trying to be okay. Um, I have good days, bad days, good moments, bad moments. I had like PTSD in the parking lot when I got there, so that's fun. But anyways, I'm just gonna wrap up this vlog here. I'll plan to make another vlog, obviously, when we get the genetic results just kind of chat with you guys about that and then obviously my appointment with my RE and just like all the things I'm gonna bring you guys along for make sure you're subscribed to my channel and uh, yeah I'll see you in the next one bye mm -hmm.